What's up, Dream Team? So, I got bad news. And I get an email today that one of the patients that I, specifically me, has been treating for a span of two to three days, but only I've actually only saw, I only saw them two days. And on the last day is the day that I actually did a really thorough physical exam. Upon me leaving that day, the patient received a COVID-19 test and it was positive. So, my clerkship director and the attending physician that I was working with, you know, had to notify everybody that came in contact. So, of course, the students. And when I first read the email, I was like, what the, you know, um, and then after I started processing things and thinking about my situation in my life, I really got sad and I was angry. I was mad and I cried a little bit because I'm a parent. So when you tell me I have to quarantine, I guess for the most part, most people are automatically assuming that, oh, you know, you're a medical student, you know, quarantine from your roommate or quarantine from your mom's house or whatever. But I have kids. So... It really, 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 really is different for me because I can't quarantine for my kids. Like, I I don't really have somewhere else for them to go or someone else to take them because, one, they've already been exposed. If, you know, in the event that um, the unfortunate happens, I've already exposed them because I've seen the patient a few days and I've seen them every time I come home. So... I'm just in a bad situation right now because I don't know. I'm, and not only that, I've actually gone to visit my grandparents. Like I needed to study. So I went to their house and my grandparents are severely immunocompromised. Like renal failure, heart failure, lung disease, like type of stuff. Like not just, oh, they're old and you know, getting up there in age know they have major health complications my granddad just got out of the hospital in a stint in rehab like yeah and my school is like oh don't get tested unless you're showing symptoms or whatever that's the precaution just quarantine for the the amount of days that you're supposed to and then you should be fine but no i I can't not know if I have COVID-19 and I'm sitting around here in one room and my kids are in the other, but there's never going to be me fully quarantined from them because I have to take care of them. Like, Oh my freaking God. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on right now. Yeah, so guys, just say a prayer for me that my... That when I get tested, it comes back negative. Because, Lord. So, yeah. This is what it's like being in healthcare. This is what it's like being a medical student. This is what it's like being a single mom in medical school. I have a headache. Otherwise, I'd probably be crying right now. But my headache is like, no, you, you're not about to. My head would be pounding. But I'm praying that even though I had direct contact with this patient that like direct contact that my results will come back negative when I take them I have to give have to wait a few days so that way I don't get a false negative report um but yeah This is what it's like in the current state of our nation. So the saga continues. Um, it's been a little minute since I found out that I have been exposed to a COVID positive patient. And um, I've had to process things and I've tried to be as cautious as possible being in a home with kids. And, you know, it's only so much I can do. But as you saw in a previous clip, I did um, do a COVID drive-up testing through my um, local Department of Health. And um, 
waited for the results for 24 hours and 48 hours passed and 72 hours passed um no results and when i finally was able to contact them and they took a message um they called me back to verify my date of birth and my name everything was correct and then they told me that most likely they had lost my results and that i would probably have to come in for um, an additional test if i wanted to see what my status was so this is definitely not news that i wanted to hear after so much time has passed um very frustrating um yeah so i'm hoping to get this resolved hopefully there there was an error on top of an error and they may have my results i don't know because i've never had this happen to me before um but i'm really feeling some type of way right now so i'm probably going to end this video right here um thanks for watching thanks for listening to me vent um um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I'll try to give you guys updates on what the resolution is to um, my testing situation. Um, I'll continue to update you on how I'm maneuvering through becoming a physician and life as a woman, a mother, as a person in general. Um, and again, thanks for watching.